What's going on YouTube? Hello my tackle hoarders out there. APFA back again with a mystery tackle box. This is for the month of June 2020. We will get into this box and see what it's all about. I hope you guys are doing well in your fishing season. Me, it's hit or miss. Find them one week, next week we don't. That's how it goes sometimes. Okay, in the box, like always. Tips and tricks. We have what's inside. We have a sticker. All right, let's get into it. First one up, we have the Vexen, Noken, Noken, however you want to call it. This will be it right here. We have a crankbait. The color on this is Shelby Shad. It's 21 grams, 70 millimeters, 21 grams. I don't know what that equates to standard measurements. Well, we'll take it out of the packaging here. Take a look at it. The other side, back, belly. Chartreuse, white, and gray, basically. Okay hooks on it. It's a square bill crankbait. Shallow diving, I would guess three to six feet, possibly. You guys can hear that big knocker in there. Uh, three to four feet, that's on the front here. Three quarters of an ounce, three to four feet. So that's perfect for me. Like always, I'll let you guys know, heavily vegetated areas is where I mostly fish. So I'll be able to burn that over the tops in some areas. Okay, next thing we got is the Booyah Squelcher, which is a buzz bait with a big, huge blade on it. Let me try to adjust some light here. We'll take it out of the package. Check this out. Not sure on the color. It's a half ounce, which is a perfect weight for me. Nice and heavy to wing it out there. And the design on these fuzz baits right now, so I'll show you in a second as soon as I get it out of here. Makes them plain real easy. That design there in the head makes them plain real easy. You can see that triangle shape there. Not a bad color, black with a little red in it. It's always a good top water color for me. I like to tune these a little bit to get it knocking off that wire. As you can hear there, you can turn, tune it up and not have it hit at all. I just like when they hit, kind of stops them in the air you get a little bit farther distance when they hit. Not a bad little bait. Something I would throw early top morning. Nice and calm. Straight braid. No leader. Next thing we have is Cream Lure Speed Screamer. Which will be these. We'll open the package and take one out. Uh, it's a four pack. Green pumpkin is the color. Looks like a creature bait of some sorts. Really unique design to it. You can see it's green pumpkin. I like the little paddle feet here, curly tails. Little finesse. Bait. Um, I don't know if there's a top or bottom to this bait. I'm going to say it's going to be hard to pick up on camera, but there's some ridges. 
It's like a hook pocket running down the center and there's some ridges there. You can kind of see it there. I'd call that the back. And I'm calling this the belly. That's all nice and smooth. Little bit smaller of a bit. Good on a finesse day. I don't know what size hook to use on this. We'll figure that out. Something obviously I would Texas rig and throw that way. Next thing we have is the Gambler Flapping Shad. Right here. Garlic scent, like always, with Gambler stuff. Really unique style bait here. It's a solid bait. Kind of like a fluke style bait with a big paddle tail on the back. Never seen these before. I don't know what to think about them. It's like a watermelon red pearl laminate something. It's a real funky color. Everything's all swirled you can see there. It's not a bad color. A little smaller than I'd like to throw. It's a four inch bait. I don't know if I said that. I at least like a five inch to a six inch soft jerk bait. That's how I would fish this. Again, with the smaller size, something you want to throw on a more finesse day, slower day. The last thing we have up, we have Harmony Fishing Company Razor Series EWG. Got it right. Some hooks with some bait pegs. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's some little O-rings in there. It's a three pack. I'm not sure what size these are. I don't know anything about these at all. There's four little O-rings in there. I'd have to go visit the harmonyfishing.com for rigging tips. We'll take one out. We'll look at it. I don't know what these are all about. I would just imagine you take one of those little O-rings, slide it up to the eye, and keeps the bait from passing past that eye and tearing up the head. Three, maybe four at EWG. It'll fit both these baits. Just kind of mock one up real quick for you guys. Basically that's where the hook point's going to sit in the bait. On that. And Uh, see, it's hard to do. I don't want to rig these up and tear these up. I got plans for these. We'll put both of these in the test tank. This hook looks a bit too big for that 4 inch bait. So we'll probably have to rig these up on a 3 ox, maybe a 4 ox on the little creature bait there. And throw those in the test tank for you guys. So I hope you guys stick around for that. But me, I'll probably throw them on vector hooks because that's what I do. But that'll do it for this month's box. They got all the water columns handled for you. You got the mid, depending on the depth you fish with the crankbait. I really like this Booyah buzzbait here. That's a giant, giant blade on that thing. Very impressed with this. This is something I definitely throw. Like I said, we'll throw these two things in the test tank, see what they can do. I'm really curious on what this little creature bait by Cream here does. Should be an awesome little bait. You can see those little paddles on the end of the tails. I really like that in my creature baits. Like I said, that's going to do it. Not a bad little box. I like when they cover every water column. Surface, mid, bottom, Texas rig, those soft plastics. Drag those through the water, you'll be just fine. Like I said, the buzz bait straight braid, don't worry about that. Braid helps it float. But 
I'm going to get out, out of here. Thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below. I appreciate that. Also, share the video, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. So you guys stick around. We'll do tank tests on those two baits. I have tank tests coming up on a couple of other baits that should be pretty interesting. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again. Bye.